guys, we're ready for our semi-final two predictions. Um, let's just pop this down, shall we? Yes, yeah, so let's put that down. Well, let's put that down. All go. right, we're going to go through who we think is going to qualify from tonight's semi-final. And, Mike, we're going to start off with a few here that we think got a huge reception in the crowd last night and that we think are safely through, and that is Austria, Australia and Belgium. Yeah, I guess when we say safely through, you can't take anything for granted, but there certainly was big reactions in the stadium for those ones, which I think will translate through to tally votes uh, through the screens. And, yeah, I think we'll be seeing those three on Saturday. Yeah, great running order for Belgium. It really pops. Australia finishes with an absolute bang. And obviously we're very hopeful they're going to get through and feeling really confident they're going to smash that performance. And then Austria, it's been the most popular song out of everything there. Do I think it's the strongest uh, performance? Possibly not. I don't think it's going to win the semi. I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit further down, but I do think they're going to get through. Yeah, you'd imagine so. All right, well, another few that we agree on here is we've got uh, Slovenia and Cyprus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. The Slovenia, it's exactly what you expect from Joker out. It's very on-brand for them. The guys really, really know how to sell it. They connect through the camera. They connect with the audience. It's got a really, really good vibe. And Cyprus, Andrew, really, really great vocal. There's not reinventing the wheel here. There's a lot of tried and true kind of uh, Eurovision elements here that all come together. The big finish, I think that should be enough to carry him through to the grand final. Mm. I think with these two, what's so great about them is doing something really kind of almost simple but really effectively well. The band are just all together and there's this great sort of unison and they really just connect with the camera, each character, and then have this kind of moment to go to the crowd and a moment to come back. They just do it so well. It's not overcomplicated. Don't need to be overcomplicated. Mm. Andrew, brilliant LEDs, great use of pyro, great vocal, uh, a tried and true test to, uh, kind of your vision performance mm. yeah absolutely and i think he's going to be safely through there as well mm. now from the kind of more uh, simple and effective to the over the top poland <laughs> we we think poland our good friend blanka and poland mm. are going to get through yeah absolutely um <laughs> like, i guess the, the question on everybody's lips was the vocal the vocal's fine the mm. vocal is more than fine if there's any kind of uh, banana skin here Poland have done it again and they've thrown the kitchen sink at this. This isn't just take one thing off before you walk outside. This is probably take about three things off. This random stuff happens for no apparent reason. But ultimately, she sells it. It is a really, really good performance. This great dance break. Oh, I quite like it. Yeah, look, I agree. It pops. It's fun. Um, it's a kind of like upbeat pop number of this um, semi-final, I think, with that little dance break as well. I agree. If it's going to be something that could make it NQ, believe it or not, it's not going to be the vocal. It's actually going to be the staging, which I thought was going to be their pro here. So, yeah, it's a shame. I think it could have been even better, but I do think it's going to get through no, I still there. think it's very good. It's a good oh, package. Yeah. No, it's a good package, yeah. Um, so then let's have a look. Towards the end of the show, we've got two ones that are going to work really well, I think. Albania and Lithuania. Yeah, interesting running order for those two, back to back. I think both do what they do very, very well. Albania sticks to that kind of Albanian flavour. We've got red, black, fire wailing over the top you know sort of uh, vibes and Monica Linkite much more paired back she lets the vocal shine she connects through the camera we have those wonderful backing singers that come through and add uh, that gospel element to it so it, it all works works very very well yeah totally look Albania is one that's outside the odds at the moment qualified but they often are when they do get through and they've had a glow up that they needed good staging and they've brought it uh, the red and blacks work really well you got the handkerchief moment yeah. that's awesome but then they go into this lovely gold um, part and they do really simple but effective choreography. Nothing, chore you know, too much. I'm not sure her parents could like, you know, smash it out. <laughs> so the hand down and just these moments that just work. And she owns it and she looks yep. amazing. So we're putting Albania through even though they're outside the odds. Yeah, um, the brother's my favourite. It's like, mate, give us nothing. <laughs> and I'm here for it. He'll bring, he'll bring it tonight though, <laughs> you know. Uh, also Lithuania, I agree. It's clean, it's nice. The crowd sings the tuto tuto. She can sing it well. It's a great running order. There's some great countries to vote for her as well. So I think those two are going to get through. Yeah, I can say that happening. And that takes us to um, just takes us to eight. I think so, yes. Yes, of course, because we agree on Armenia. Mm. Um, second in the running order, so we're saying it's, she's going to break that hoodoo. No one's qualified from there for years. Um, but I think, look, 
I don't like this song at all. I really don't. I didn't like its chances as well, but they have put a pretty effective staging together. I love the sloping stage, and she performs it really well with an interesting dance break. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I never really connected with this song, but when I saw that performance, it all kind of made a bit more sense for me. You're right, she carries the whole thing. It's an interesting staging concept that they have that I think really works. It does feel like three separate songs, and perhaps the transitions could probably be a little bit smoother, but at the same token, this is very, very good good I think it's sailing through to the uh, grand final all right well let's talk about a few of the ones at the bottom end that we don't think are going to get through before we get to our cusp ones <laughs> um, we've got Iceland Romania and San Marino we don't think are going to get through yeah have to agree Iceland not because of Delia because I think she's a terrific performer she's quite energetic I'll put it that way but it's just not enough with that song the staging's very big and sparse they use some good LED use but um, yeah no, no for me uh, I love I love her performance. Um, I really enjoy it, but she's not going to get through. Uh, Romania has got a real taste issue with the mm. staging. It looks awful. Um, there's some really questionable staging there that's very distasteful, I think, and I'm not here for it all. I actually hope it comes last because it's very distasteful. And San Marino, I think they've done a good job, but... It's just not good enough, unfortunately. Yeah, Romania, again, he as a, as a vocalist is actually quite good. This, 100%. I like the way the acoustic start changes things up and then we go to the rocky a bit. But yeah, that needs to be straight into the bin, that staging. And San Marino, there's nothing wrong with it. It does what San Marino does. I don't you could know you could do a lot with this song anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, you know, they try and sell it, but it's a bit of a pup really, isn't it's it? It's nice, it's clean, yeah. um, but it's just a bit simple. And basically you've got the song and the song's just not going to be a qualifying song all right so that has all the ones that we have in the middle here now let's start with one we do think probably will NQ but could have a chance at an outside chance Denmark who opened the show yeah um, if he wasn't opening the show perhaps I might give him a little bit of a, a, a better chance it, you know Riley it, I like elements of the staging just Riley, I don't think is strong enough to carry it vocally, uh, and I think that's where he'll probably get punished. But there's some very cute little elements. He gives it, it gives it a bit. So you know, not dead in the water, but I think he's got a bit of an uphill job. All right, and then also let's go to Georgia again. I think we both had this just outside qualifying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was a little disappointed with this. There's nothing wrong with the staging. It's just for me that song is kind of tailor-made for the Eurovision stage. You've got drama, you've got all sorts of things, and it just sort of lacks moments and power. Um, I, I don't like her vocal. I, I don't like her vocal tone, and the whole thing is illegible. You can't understand a word she says. So, unfortunately, I think there's some inherent weaknesses in the package. It wouldn't surprise me if it got through, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, yeah, not for me. Yeah, this is one I had just outside. I like where it is in the running order, if it can pop more. It mm. could get dragged down with a couple that follow, like it's with San Marino. Uh, I think people will look at it and go, wow, that's Eurovision. And it has an initial impact, but it doesn't really go anywhere. And I think I enjoy the vocal. I know others might find the tone a bit grating, though. It's very unusual. So whether it's enough Eurovision enough, uh, I'm not sure. To me, it was kind of like... Armenia, Georgia might be going for the same kind of votes in a way. Mm. Uh, so that's, I thought Armenia had the better package. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree. All right. So that means we have one each left. Mm. Uh, let's start with who you've put through, which is? Greece. Okay. It actually is the person he said today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't changed my mind in the last minute. Um, you know, Victor's a very energetic, good young performer. He definitely gets out there and tries to sell it can't say I'm that keen on the staging it's a little bit basic and to be honest I wish they'd supported him more maybe with a couple of dancers or given another couple of elements but I just think the points are there he's got enough around him in Cyprus Australia the United Kingdom I think they're going to go for this song and that could just be enough to push him over the line I think they can tell that uh, tell that 16 year old story mm. uh, every commentator will say he's only 16 um, I think that's why he's in shorts let's make the most of the fact that he's young and try and get a little bit of that vote coming through because to me the song's a very good nice jury song mm. um, he's got great vocal I think his performance style is a bit unusual at times um, but you know he's young and I think they've over egged it on the LEDs I can see this getting through but I've got it outside I probably had it at 12 to get through so I wouldn't be surprised because we've got to think about points not always the best songs yeah absolutely also the what he wears that little khaki outfit does look like he works at Australia Zoo for all the Australians out there so yeah. keep an eye out for that another Irwin brother basically <laughs> and for me I've 
foot through Estonia. Am I worried? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried about the running order. Um, fourth before Gustav, because Gustav comes in with a bang. But I tell you what, last night in the in the audience, she got a really, really big reception, particularly that finish is fantastic. Mm. She sings it so well. It's a really well put together song and the staging does enough. Um, really nice LEDs on the floors actually as mm. well on top of that. And to me, it's almost like that start of the show, you got Armenia, Romania, Estonia, and they almost, maybe Romania Sawtooth, maybe can jump up there. So I think there's enough here. The quality is good, but I can certainly say she is on the cusp of Q and Q. And if she gets through, she will get jury points. I really hope Estonia get through. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this at all. I couldn't really fault it. She, she's incredible vocalist, and she really, really does sell it. For me, though, I just don't think there's enough. I think audiences will watch it and go, oh, she was really good, I liked her. Are they going to pick up the phone and, phone and vote for her? I don't see it happening. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if she just misses out, but um, it wouldn't be surprised if she somehow gets into that 10 as well. As okay. I say, nothing wrong with the package. Now, I'm pretty sure we've covered every song. I'm pretty sure we have. We have. If we've missed them, <laughs> they're probably not going to qualify. I could have forgotten who they were. So um, that's all that there. Again, we didn't get a shock NQ the other day. If there's going to be a shock NQ, who will it be, Mike? Ah. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I think there's about 13 in the running, so I wouldn't be shocked if... Uh, the first three we mentioned are pretty safe, I reckon, but everybody else, it's probably up for grabs. Well, according to the odds, I think Armenia second or third. Um, I sort of rate it that high. I have it down as a, one of the lower qualifiers. I do think the running order could really be its problem. Um, it could be put in with all the kind of almost a feeling of... I don't want to say dirge, but like it feels like the show gets going at good stuff. So the songs beforehand, sometimes they all get dragged down with each other. So Armenia could go as an NQ possibly, mm -hmm. but it's pretty good staging, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to throw this out here and it's never going to happen, but I'm not that impressed with Austria's vocals. And if they don't bring it, not, they can sing it, but there's no power and the LED is confusing. If we were going to see one of the biggest shock NQs of all time, tiny chance of Austria. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. I said tiny, I said tiny chance, tiny <laughs> chance. So just putting it on the record in case it happens. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck to all the entries. I hope your favorite gets through and we hope Australia and Cyprus, Aussie Andrew get through as well. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy the show. Vote for Australia, vote for Cyprus. And Poland. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs>